Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Uh, this is the first video I've done in a while. Uh, no, there hasn't been anything wrong for those of you that are not in my group. Um, I've actually built a brick and mortar classroom for everybody in my group that wants to come and learn from me in person. Uh, but I had a member ask me about this. Uh, she has this exact word and she wants to know kind of make uh, or how to kind of make almost like echoes come off of this um, in both the top and bottom. So uh, here we go. Type out your word um, utilizing whatever you need. So hit your T, get, come down here to your fonts, get whatever text you want. Then with it highlighted, come up here to effects, shadow layer. 0.05 is going to come up and that's actually a good one to use because it's going to go around all of your letters. I recommend coming in here and changing this so that you can actually see what you're doing. You don't have to, but I do. Okay. All right. So that looks good. That black is still highlighted. Come in here. Object. Duplicate. Remember, it has to be greater than one or you're just going to have the same thing you started with that original one. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Highlight both of these. Okay, there can only be two items in a path. Back minus front, that's going to give you that. Okay, you can come here and take the knife and slice through this, or you can come in here and take a box. Let me show you how to do the box. Okay, you can come in here, squeeze this box all the way down, uh, you can also take just the line, use the line. Okay, let's grab this little guy right here. Okay, so now I'm going to use my little keys on my keyboard. So I just lowered that. Okay, so now highlight both of them. Path. Back minus front. and let it work my computer's been acting funky okay so now object let's see if it's going to cooperate with us okay so now what you need to do if you do that is come in here and highlight just the top part you can see where that line goes after i did the break apart highlight only the top pieces okay come back in here object merge Come on, little computer. Oh, my computer is funky monkey. It's probably mad I haven't played with it in so long. Okay, now just the bottom parts. Object, merge. And everything goes back. And now you have the bottom pieces. Okay, and you have the top pieces. Okay, now you can bring this little guy back in here set him where you want so you can lift it a little bit okay this little piece oh come on grab it bring this little guy down and remember that center cut is wherever you want it so if you want it a little higher in the patriots put it a little higher you want it a little lower put it a little lower okay so wherever you want it now this one, keep it highlighted, object, duplicate. You're going to need however many you want. If you want a three echo, do it this way, okay? And you can come in here and put them all kinds of funky crazy, maybe. You can grab it and don't be like me. So then you're just going to highlight all of these. Come over here and do that. Okay, so that's going to put them all even that way. Then you can just use this directional arrow and that's going to help lower them down. Okay, keyboard arrows, keyboard arrows. Okay, this one, same thing. Okay, oops, crap. Let me do it all together. There we go. None of that malarkey. 
the keyboard arrows up however far you want it. Okay, and then do your object, do your duplicate. Something kind of close so they're not stacking up on top of each other. Okay, and then just your keyboard arrows or whatever you want. Just directional arrows though, because you already have them in line with each other. And there you go. So there is your central word with your echoes off of it. And of course you can have them, you can have these farther apart if you want, just by your own placement. Okay, so this part is totally up to you. Okay, so here if you want them just a little farther apart. Okay, so like that. Totally up to you. But that's how you get to where you start to use your own uh, individual preferences on how you want that placed. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can join me over at my group, which is Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, it's also SCASH, S-C-A-S-H. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this helps.